Now we're going to look at pasted surfaces. Pasted surfaces will basically join surfaces within the project. It could be a civil 3D surface as well as a civil site design surface and create a composite with them. This is slightly different to Model Builder. What Model Builder will do is it will join strings together. In the case of the development base we created earlier, the grading string around the outside, the site development grading string, had no surface. So we have to use Model Builder to join it together with other strings in the project. We can now create a composite between the natural surface and the development base. And again, this is live. So if I make changes to any one of the strings that's involved within this um, pasted surfaces, or even one of the surfaces themselves, this will update. We will go up to the Model Builder pull down and click on Paste Surfaces. In the form, we're prompted to create a group. This is going to form the basis of our surface name. So let's click on Add Group and type in the following name. Now all we simply do is add the surfaces we, we want to contribute towards this new combined surface. So down the bottom of the form we click on Add Surface. You can use Control on your keyboard to select multiple entries. We're going to select the following two entries from the list and click on Select. Depending on the order, um, can you make sure that your BM development base is sitting at the top? When you've done that, strike Build Update Surface. The software will now go ahead and combine those two surfaces together. If we zoom in to maybe the north part of the development base here, you can see that clearly the contours don't match. And this is generally because the base surface, the one at the very bottom, would normally sit at the top of the list. So what we're going to do is select NS, move it up to the top, and then strike Build Update. You can see there how those contours are now matching. The great thing is, as we make changes to the grading strings, this combined surface will update. And this will actually form the basis for the surface we're going to be designing on top of. Meaning that as we design outside within this existing environment here, we'll be designing on what is essentially is the original natural. But as we begin to design in the development, we're actually designing on top of our new surface. Meaning we don't have to have multiple surfaces, we can just design on top of the one. You may find that the contours are in your drawing maybe a little bit intense. So what we're going to do is just go to toggle display. You'll see that there is a new surface called PST for pasted combined design existing. We're just going to simply increase the values as shown on screen. When you've finished, close down the paste surface form.